Hi, I'm Caroline Scott with your weekly journalism news update. The digital news report from the Reuters Institute for the Study of Journalism has found the number of people getting their news from social media begin to fall for the first time in seven years. At the same time, we've seen a rise in the use of alternative platforms such as WhatsApp, Instagram and Snapchat. BBC News Labs and The Telegraph are experimenting with Google AMP stories over the World Cup. They hope the visual storytelling feature will bring football fans a more engaging mobile experience. The Bureau of Investigative Journalism has launched a theatre tour to bring reporting about domestic violence to wider audiences. The performances will discuss findings of a large collaborative investigation on refuge cuts and the impact of domestic violence on various different areas around the UK. In this week's podcast, we took you to Galway, where we gathered the hottest tips, advice and industry updates from the ever-growing community of smartphone content creators. Glenn Mulcahy, who's the founder of MojoFest, told me he's seen journalists migrate from seeing smartphones as yet another video camera to leveraging mobile technology as a platform for new forms of social storytelling, and in some cases, a complete end-to-end publishing solution in its own right. Is 2018 going to be the year of VR? Well, immersive storytellers at the festival weren't so sure, but they did say new technology, which is more newsroom friendly and cost savvy, is on the rise, meaning there'll be more of an opportunity for you to produce VR and AR content at your organisation. And finally, six New York universities have partnered up to create a new journalism course to defend independent news media. Students will take modules in journalism as well as engineering and computational methods to better prepare them for facing new technology threats. That's all from us. Have a great weekend.